Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate, and welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own desk screen GUI inside Roblox Studio. So the first thing you need to do is click Start a GUI, click Plus, and then add in a screen GUI. Then once we've added it in, we can click it, go to Properties, and then rename this to Desk GUI, like that. Then what we can do now is once again click it, click plus, and then add in frame. Then we can quickly customize this frame. So I'm just going to be changing the color to like a black, like this. Then going down to the size and change the size to 1, comma, 0, comma, 1, then comma, 0, like this. So it should fill the entire screen. Then once again, click frame. Add in a text label and then once again change the size to 1, comma 0, comma 0 0.1 and then comma 0. So then now it kind of looks like this like little label. Then I'm just going to be getting rid of the background transparency, so change that to 1. Then now customising text, so text scaled, change the font and then also text colour. So I'm going to change the colour to red. I'm going to change the text to you died. Then I'm just going to be dragging this down to the middle. To about uh, here. Then if we rename it to title. Like this. Then if we duplicate it. Rename it to timer. And then drag it down to about here. Then this time if we change the text and text colour. So I'm just going to be changing the text to respawning in, in 5 seconds, like this. And then this is going to be the GUI done. Once we've done this, we can click frame, scroll down properties, and untick visible, like that. So now we can't see it. Then all we need to do now is click service script service, click plus, click script. Then the first thing we need to type in is local players equals the game dot players like this but if you go down type in local t how long you want your respawn to be so i'm just going to be changing this to five to actually match the default player respawn time if you want to change how long players respawn for then click players and then look in properties and then you should just see this option here for respawn time so the default time is 5 seconds. Then inside the script, we can type in players, dot player added, connect, function, and then player. Then go down, and it will end should appear. Then we type in player, dot character added, connect, function, and then character. And then once we go down, we can type in local humanoid equals character wait for child brackets speech marks and then humanoid like this then if we go down and type in humanoid dot died connect function and then died like this once again go down and new end should appear with a bracket and then we can type in player dot player GUI. Then find first child bracket speech marks. And then death GUI because that's the name of our GUI. Then outside these brackets we do colon. Wait for child. Bracket speech marks. And then frame. Then outside these brackets we can type in dot visible equals to true. Then if we go down twice and type in 4i equals to t, then comma 0, comma minus 1, and then do. Then if we type in player, dot player GUI, then find first child, bracket speech marks, then once again death GUI, then if we do dot frame, and then dot timer, dot text equals to, 
Two speech marks. And then we can do respawning in and then make sure we do space. Then if we do dot dot and then I, which is this timer. Then go down, add in a wait, and let's wait one second. And then the last thing we need to do is select this line here, copy, and then under this end, which has no bracket, we can go down, paste it in, and just change true to false. And then this should be your script done. If we close it off, if you want, you can pause it so you can write it out. So if we close it off, click play. Then if we click reset character, then the frame can appear and it counts down from five. Then when it reaches zero, then we respawn and the frame disappears. And guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check out my Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!